Hey everybody, it is Tack Pack Day. Let me get this opened up and show you what's inside. All right, looks like some pretty cool stuff this month. Let's jump in here on the list that comes in the box and find out what we have. Starting here at the top of the list with the True Glow Armorer's Wrench. I have an armorer's wrench. I think a lot of people do, but it would actually be nice to have one in my range bag. I don't have one in my range bag. So it looks like we've got castle nut for the buffer tube. We have a muzzle device, flash hider. I've used both of those before. And then a hammer. Now, every tool has a hammer side. This one actually has a built-in hammer side. So there's a free float forearm, the three pins here, and then on the back side you can see that it will fit uh, some barrel nuts. Okay, next on the list, Creature Grips M-Lock Rail Panels. Okay. Let's get in here and see what we have. All right, so these fit inside of an M-Lock. Let me show you. So your M-Lock pieces here on the side of your handguard. Looks like you can pop these in there. Oh, okay. And then it would kind of create like a grip section for you. It looks like there's six of them in there. So maybe do one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. Uh, you can come over the top or I tend to do this just out of habit. I really need to get better at coming over the top. But anyway, uh, that's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. wonder if that is a new product. All right, that's kind of cool. wonder how easy it is to get them out. They do pop out relatively easily, but not in a way that would like keep them from staying on there. I was able to get my knife underneath there and pop that out. I should have thought about that before I chose the one with the Cerakote on it. I think I mentioned before, but I'm just really enjoying the Tack Pack. It comes for me on like the 7th or 8th of each month, which gives me plenty of time to get a video out before they start going out to everyone. And if you're here as a spoiler and you can't wait to see what's in it, uh, that's cool. But if you come back later and just kind of want to hear what I have to say about some of the stuff, uh, there's usually some pretty cool things in here. It's kind of nice to have a box that's kind of curated for you. I very much have enjoyed it. There's been a couple of months that are better than other months, but over the course of the four or five months they've been sending me the box, I have thoroughly enjoyed it and I have no problem recommending this box to you. If you want to get a tack pack for yourself, code Eagle Run 23 it gets you a free bonus box, which some of you guys have sent me what comes in your bonus boxes. Uh, gosh, it looks like maybe as much as a hundred dollar value worth of stuff in there that you get by using the promo code. In addition, Tack Pack has a Glock box that's coming out next month. I don't know if they're sending it to me or not. I kind of want to buy one anyway, and then if they send me one, I'll get two, and maybe I can give some stuff away. But anyway, really cool looking stuff. And if you're a Glock shooter. Really cool looking stuff in there, and uh, I, I would recommend that you get one. It looks like it's a high value, almost like 50% more than what you're paying, so kind of cool. Let's keep going here. On the list, Mission First Tactical Lucky Magazine. I wonder what makes this a Lucky Magazine. The Lucky Magazine looks like it's a color. What do they say? It's translucent. Why is it Lucky? Oh, it's a color collaboration designed exclusively with Tack Pack. Translucent magazine, durable. I have not run a Mission First Tactical mag before, so that might be kind of cool to do. So it's the Lucky Magazine because it will be the only one in your collection in this exclusive color. That's kind of cool. I, I Yeah, I haven't tried Mission First before on the magazines. I have some other other stuff, but not a magazine. Let's give that a shot. Next on the list is the Nine Line Range Ready Cap. Okay, so we've got a beanie here. I am not a beanie guy, but... Kind of a cool logo on there. I'm sure nine line means something. I don't know what that means. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, next is the Birchwood KC Nitro Gloves. Okay, so I think one of the first tack packs that I got had a set of gloves in it. Kind of nice because I don't always grab a glove. It's nice to have them. I've actually used some out of the other packs so when I've been doing some cleaning tasks. And nice to have. They can just restock my old ones. Good thing to throw in. There is a sticker in every single tack pack, and usually it is an exclusive sticker. Looks like Mission First Tactical sent one with their grip, and oh, there's a coupon code for Troy. We'll save that for later. Here is the Leprechaun, Lucky Leprechaun sticker. I do like the little stickers that come. It's not 
something that you see a lot of. It's usually an exclusive design. I have been kind of saving them. I don't really know what to do with them. I've got, um, they would go cool on a cooler or on a stainless steel mug or maybe just over on the toolbox here where I can look at them and enjoy them every once in a while. Okay, let's go next on the list. Oh, this is the plus item. So if you have the Tac Pack Plus, which is what this one is, then you get the plus item. And it looks like it's from Troy Industries. There is a 20% off with the code TAC20. That's big. That's nice. Okay. I did open this up and peek at it because I just wasn't sure what it was. But it's actually really cool. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it's so nice. Let me get it out here and show it to you. Normally, your front and rear sight, it seems like everyone's doing the foldable ones. But this is a fixed set of of uh, front sights and rear sights. I need to figure out what I'm gonna put these on. I'm trying to use all of my tack stuff and not let anything set in the box. I'm trying to put it on builds as soon as they're coming out. If you're not a subscriber to my channel or if you're just here for the tack pack stuff, I do builds and I use a lot of the tack pack stuff in my builds. It's been really fun to have some products that I don't ordinarily use. Uh, something like this is not something I would have bought for myself, but now that I have it in my hand, I'm thinking this should go on a on a really solid build. And I've been doing a series of budget builds on the channel where we've taken budget items, either gotten them Cerakoted or added a couple of nice features to them to bring them up a tier into the mid-tier category, uh, but still keep the price really low. These are around 100 and I found them for like 110 bucks, 107 bucks. So these are not a set of budget sites. They are from a high quality manufacturer. And so I need to put them on something cool. Stay tuned because we will definitely use those somewhere. Really cool stuff coming up on the channel. We've just finished a budget gun. I have another one in the works. It's at the Cerakote shop right now. Uh, we're going to be doing a side charging 8.6 blackout very soon. And my daughter has finally made some selections on her first rifle, an AR-15. That's coming up here in a couple of weeks as well. And we have a brand new trigger in called the Elf Apex. This is the new trigger from Elf. They showed it to me at SHOT Show. He said he would send me one super early. No one has this in a gun yet. As far as I can tell, no one has used this. We're going to put this in a gun, and then I have a build for it coming up, but I want to try it out, and that build is not ready. So if you want to see about this Elf Apex drop-in trigger, it has a really cool way that the sear interacts. Really interesting design. So we're going to get that tested. Make sure you're subscribed. All right, guys, got to get back to work. Eagle Run 2-3, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.